everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel um today we are going to be talking about my candle obsession if you couldn't tell by the title already so i have a huge obsession with candles so i'm going to kind of do a haul of all the candles that are just in my room not in my whole house because that will probably take three years to do but just what's in my room at the moment so my candle obsession probably started three-ish years ago, we'll say. That's when I really became a candle person and I was like, yes, candles hit me up. I need you all day, every day, 10 out of 10 candles in my life, I'm living. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing off all my beautiful candles. But first I'm gonna start like this. I don't, they're not candles, but I kind of count them in the same family as candles because I have a scent. I'm gonna start with my reeds. This is in my room, this sits on my desk next to my scrunchies to make all my scrunchies smell really nice. And this is the scent Honolulu. I actually really, really like this scent. And it's really strong and it's a good boy. So yeah, this is most, I think all but one of these candles, no, all but two of these candles are from Dusk, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this is from Dusk. And my other one sits in a lily pad. Pretty lily pad that I got gifted. This one's pretty much empty. This one was like, I'm pretty sure a lemon scented one. It was just like, I got it for the cute leaves and it matched the aesthetic here. Yeah, this one was, um, also sits on my desk. This one sits towards the edge. So it like spreads out the scent. Um, I also have two diffusers in my room. One in the corner there that's on at the moment next to my fish tank. And another that also sits on my desk. I also have a humidifier that sits over the other side of my bed because I'm an asthmatic and I need the air to be more moist when I sleep. But the scents that I have for my humidifier, I'll just rate them from my favorite to my least favorite. Okay, my least favorite is Amber Nights. This one's the one that I first got that came with my first infuser, which was gifted to me. But the scent, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's a nice scent, but it's not a me scent. Like, I wouldn't say no to this scent. It's just not something I'd associate with me. Um, my next favourite, or least favourite, I still like them all, um, is Garden Breeze. This one, to me, smells more like cleaning materials. I think, I remember getting this and there was two blues and I couldn't remember which one I liked. And I grabbed the wrong one. But I still like it. I just, yeah, I don't use it as much. But I still prefer it over the other one. Or I like to mix the scents together, like, in the same little pot. My next one is spirituality. I just, it just smells really nice. I don't know how to explain this one. Just smells really nice, but my favorite <laughs> is, um, Pinot Colada. Like, it's a really pretty packaging. It just smells really nice. I actually have never had a Pinot Colada before in my life, but I just think it smells really, 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 really nice. And yes, um, now we're going to start moving on to my candles. First I'm going to do my candles that I can't light because if they, I light them they will decease. Um, the first one, both these were gifted to me by the same person. I love, love them. Um, it's a kitty cat. It was for Halloween. My friend actually works at dusk. She saw this and goes, oh, Hannah will like it and got it for me and dropped it off at my doorstep while I was at work one day. It wasn't even my birthday or anything. She was just like, yep, she'll like it and got it for me. Now that's Quite, that sits on my shelf, one of my shelves, under my record player. And this next one also sits under my record player. It's a rose. Yeah, and yeah, she got, this is the same person that got it, she works at dusk. This one was gifted to me for my birthday. It's really pretty, and I love it. It's all, it's just so cute. But I'd never light it, I would not decease my candle like that. Um, my next lot, I'll do my mini candles. So, this is a holder I got of someone I used to work with. And it currently has a mini candle in it, I think, rock melon? I think this one's rock melon. This one sits on my desk as well. He just lives his best life on my desk. And my other one, my tea hand I, handle, holder, this is from my sister. It's a squid, a squid, squeal. You know, th this animal. And it's really pretty when the candle lights up, all the stars like light up the room in different areas. This sits next to my record player. No, it hasn't lit on fire, so it's safe. And I think the candle in it is a melon. 
scented? I can't remember, but I've got them right here, so I'll be able to have a cheeky sneak in a second. Okay, so my mini candle boys. They came in packs. So, oh, so it's sweet rock melon is the scent of the... So what I usually do is, like, in the mini one, once that one runs out, I'll replace it with the green candles, and then if my, my bigger one runs out, I'll replace it, like, I swap what candle goes in each, so that way... It's always swapping scents, if that makes sense. Unless I'm just OCD in it, which is also possible. This is, ah, oh, Awakening, it's tangerine. So it's a tangerine scented candle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got these and it was two for the price of whatever. Cause I'm a member at dusk because I have too many candles. And these are, yeah, as I said, these are just the ones that are in my room at the moment. I have more, um, what, okay. Let's say my favourite scented candle is not from Dusk. It is from Typo. I've had it for a while. My gran actually got this one for me. It's a tropical scent. As you can see, I've pretty much used it. But I keep it because it's because I'm going I plan on um putting water in it to get the candle bit out at the bottom and then refilling it with another candle just because this is aesthetically pleasing and it makes my record player because my record players are green. It looks really nice. See so yeah, I plan on doing that, getting water, put it out, put it on one of those melty things i don't know what they're called and my sister has one i can't remember what they're called i'm stupid um but my next favorite candle is one i got from my uncle a while ago it's a relaxation candle with lemon i don't know how to say these words but i'll just let it's this one it's just smells really like refreshing it kind of like gives the room a nice scent it's pretty much empty as well this one is another one i have to empty it and i don't think i'll keep this because I have heaps of little containers that are cute but yeah this is my second favorite one it's really nice it's room therapy it's a beautiful boy and this one sits next to my bed next to my humidifier I'm just telling you where all my candles are um, my next favorite candle is probably another this is actually a candle holder that was from typo that used to have a vanilla scented candle but I used it all so I bought a candle from like the dollar shop it's spirituality, it's really- this is the one I burnt my thumb on. He's, my thumb's not bad, which thumb was it? It's just like the skin's gone all white at the top, like it's scarred over, it's cool. But yeah, this one's probably my next favourite candle, just- I just love the scent of it. I don't know. Um, this one's also on my desk. If you're wondering why I have so many candles and so many infusers, I love them, or diffusers, but also, after I broke my nose earlier in the year, I actually can't- I've only got half my sense of smell. So when I light a candle, I can't usually smell it unless I light like several and I can smell it. My room, my sister often comments that my room smells weird. Like, not weird, but because of the mix of scents, it smells funky at times. But I can't really smell well, so I'm just like, if it smells good to me, I don't really care. <laughs> um, what's next? Oh, my pina colada. This was gifted to me by my grand for my birthday. My pina colada. This is one of those holders that I'll probably keep. Um, and probably use as actually a cup. Like, I'll rinse it out, clean it out, and use it as a cup. This one, I just, it smells so good. It's not fair. Ugh. Um, then I've probably got another, this was one I got myself. This is, oh, I've been saying the berry all day. It's, um, I can't remember what berry it is. I'll, ugh. I'll put it here, what the scent is, if I, Pomegranate. It's pomegranate. You don't need to put it there. But yeah, so this is a pomegranate, so it's another one that I'll empty out and use as a cup afterwards. This one sits on my desk. Oh, this one's next to my um fish tank. Yeah. Um, and then this is one that was gifted to me by my sister. It's raspberry and rose water. I love rose water. Rose water and vanilla are my favourite scents. This one also sits by my fish tank. And it actually has like bits of the if you can see rose. In it. So that's really cool. I like this one. And it's a soy candle. So that's cute. Um, next we'll probably... This one's also sat next to my stereo. This is a macaron scented candle that I've um, had some accidents with and tipped all over myself. But yeah, this one hasn't really got much of a scent. Like it's very, at least to me, it's very faint. But it's like really good if I pair it with another candle as I when it's lit. Um, so yeah, I've had an accent with it. My worst accent with a candle was I was at a Christmas party that I was holding here, just with friends, just drinking, 
and I was lighting candles to like keep the mozzies away and everything and I go guys do not knock the candles do not touch the candles me two seconds later puts my hand on one of the candles it spills all over me all over my phone so that was fun I had like wax glued to my hand and stuck on my phone and then in my like in the little speakers of my phone so I had to pick them out with a pin it was fantastic it was highlight of my day okay last candle this is probably my favorite candle holder but the scent of the candle just smells like I don't know clean like I can't really smell it it's, I think it's like really bad cleaning materials but my grand got this for me because this looks like one of my cats Quinlan which is who I linked Instagram for in my last video and this looks like my sister's cat Boston so like it's adorable and I love it but I just not a fan of the candle scent and it's got a little once once I might light it again later today just so I can like get rid of the candle and put a nice smelling one inside because I would definitely always have this little holder and so yeah that's my obsession with candles this is on my desk um I don't know how many that was that was probably way too many candles for one room and as I said that's just my one room I have more in the bathroom I have more in the lounge and some in the kitchen and yeah I've got my sister candles and if my brother would take candles I get him candles but yeah I just like nice smelling things and yeah since I can't smell too well I just love this like intense hit that's why I like um deep heat this is completely off tangent but deep heat is a savior you put it right here and I like I don't know if I can smell or I can just feel like feel it as I breathe in but ugh, it's really for someone who can't smell out of one side it's it's a beautiful moment and I love deep heat anyway but yeah I also have or going to be ordering three more candles online they're Easter candles so we'll probably do a haul when I I think I'll order them t either today or tomorrow and who knows I might receive them within a few days or a few weeks who knows with coronavirus at the moment but yeah so that's my um candle haul um comment your favorite candle below and also a candle scent I should try because I always love trying candle scents I, they give me life or another like fragrant oil I should try but yeah so thank you for watching I will catch you in my next video which um I have an idea what my next one will be but I'm not going to spoil it and just letting you know, I'm going to be posting two to three times a week just so when this lockdown's over, I can try and keep that standard up when I don't have as much time to film and stuff. So that way I'm like, okay, I can still post two to three times a week instead of me posting like, you know, every day and then say in a month's time where I stop lockdown and I can't keep that up. And I just, I like to keep my standards the same, if that makes sense. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch ya around. Yeet!